So, surprising pain triggers, Dr. Shears, what are you going to all talk right. about, my you friend? You guys, uh, you, we all love to eat, but you know, if you finish a meal and you're still hungry, don't you hate that? Ugh. And it's usually because you're just not eating the right things, and there's a few kind of big mistakes a lot of people will, uh, will make. Um, first off, hyd hydration. A lot of people don't think drinking enough water helps you stay full, but your body is over 70% water, and your cell, if your cells aren't, um, aren't replenished and hydrated, you're gonna have that constant thirst, and a lot of people kind of uh, confuse the, the feeling of thirst with hunger. I see this a lot in kids, especially. You know, mommy, I'm hungry, and are you sure? Maybe you're thirsty, and oh yeah, yeah, I'm thirsty, and, and, and that's a, a big yes. thing. If you, just, if you drink a lot of water, or just enough water, mm -hmm. uh, you'll cut down on those unnecessary yeah, hunger pain. As a rule, drink one glass of water before every meal. Mm -hmm. You also maybe consume 20% yep. fewer calories. Exactly. So that's one thing. So lots of water. Another thing, you know, if you're eating a lot of canned food, you know, there's the, everybody's talking about the BPA and the canned food, and there's some thought that maybe the BPA can kind of interfere with those hunger signals that go to your brain that tell you whether you're full or not. So, you know, have, yeah, so that's, mm. uh, you know, one of those things, we st I don't think we still fully understand BPA, but that's one of the, the recent theories that it may uh, be triggering extra hunger. See, the next thing, breakfast, but the most important mm -hmm. meal of the day, right? And if your huge. breakfast is too small, you're at work, it's the middle of the morning, it's 1030, and you start to get that craving because all that a breakfast that you ate is gone and all the energy and the sugar that came from it is gone. So a nice good breakfast, I love egg, a good egg white omelet with some avocado in there. It's a good, good source of protein with some good fats. Those are the things that really fill you up. And Dr. Sears, looks like you have some fiber up here. The fiber, here. that's the other key. I said protein and fat fill you up, but fiber fills you up too. Mm -hmm. That's so important. It's, it's good for your colon, it's good for everything, helps lower your cholesterol, and it keeps you full. So lots of good fruit and uh, some greens in there. Let's see what else. Tea. Mm. Drinking Love tea, tea actually is shown to kind of decrease those later in the day sugar cravings what kind too. Of so tea? that's good. Black tea. Okay. So that's that's uh, so, so that's something you would maybe drink after a meal. A little right. cup of tea. Mm -hmm. Just sip, you know, sip love tea, it. and I love, you know, so there's, uh, so there's a lot of things you can do here. With yeah. tons of added sugar in it, right? Mm. And then there's no. other things. Other right. things that can cause us to, you know, have those same problems though are just being bored. Oh yes. Being bored, <laughs> and you, so you still feel that you're hungry when it's Stress really eating. you just need something yeah. to do. Stress eating, emotional, depressed. You know, if you're depressed, you tend to want to eat. Well, if you guys want to go get breakfast, I'm buying. <laughs> 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 that money's no good. <laughs>